Hello everyone, today I'm back again with a 2021 Paddle King Low Pro Cruiser, floor plan number one. This one's sky blue and white. And what I will do is peek inside here and show you what modifications we've done. I do have a helper today. Uh, we have interior lighting added. That lights the floor very nice near your rear exit and front gates and on the side of the helm. And then we have backlit blue LED speakers. And they look really nice as well. And then you can run them both at the same time and still get a good effect on it. And then another cool feature that we've added on this is blue underdeck LEDs. So when you're on the water, all of your neighbors will be jealous looking at this lighting up the lake around you. This looks amazing. I had to get in a nice dim area so you could get the full effect. Once this thing's cruising down the water, you're going to have a nice blue glow around you. So what I'll do is we'll flip these off. And then uh, we'll get the interior lights clicked on in the shop here. And then we'll talk about the rest of the boat. This is a 2021 Paddle King Low Pro Cruiser floor plan number one sky blue and white. And once we get the LEDs to flick on here. Hopefully we'll get some better lighting. There we go. We have a matching sky blue bimini. We have an MB Court GMR LED head unit. We also have a Minn Kota E-Drive equipped boat. And we also have the deck hand. That is a popular option. Uh, on these floor plan number ones and the number twos, they have this rear exit gate here. That you can access from the back and that way it gives us enough room to actually have one of these deck hands and still have room to have a ladder off the rear as well so you have a place to exit but at the same time you have a, a way to anchor the boat uh, really heavy anchor it's 20 pounds that's plenty for this boat uh, in most situations and then we also have it remote mounted so what I'll do for the video's sake Right now I have it in travel mode, which it comes with a little tiny D-ring here, or clevis, I should say. This is while you're driving down the road. This is so if anything fails or scoots or slacks up, you are able to keep it from completely falling out. This has a switch on the rear, but on this particular case, we have a remote mount as well. I'll zoom in on that real quick. So that remote mount, it's located right behind our E-Drive controls. And I'll go through some of the normal features that I add to these boats. So on the E-Drive system itself, it's a two horsepower equivalent electric motor. I do have a 50 amp disconnect plug and I also have a negative disconnect on the helm. You can see I have my horn button, my interior lighting switch, my speaker lighting, and my under deck LED lightings all in a row. When you shut off the negative, uh, the negative disconnect, that actually allows everything in the boat to be killed. And then when you unplug the E-Drive itself, it reduces any and all electrical draws. So when you have your Minn Kota Precision Charger working, it's working at peak efficiency. So if you leave the house, have this thing plugged in, and you're out of town for an extended period of time, you do not have to worry. That will keep your batteries conditioned and working at top or peak performance and elongate their service life to you. So I'll go in the boat right now. This customer is not getting a trailer. They opted out on that, so they're just getting the boat. And here you'll see each of the seats. We have our live well and sun lounger seat here. We have a table installed, they also wanted that, an extra dry storage box, and the two front corner seats. I'm actually going to go over here, interior lighting. These look really good in the dark, and it's not a harsh blue, it's a really nice soft glow. So it actually casts a really nice light, and I'll go down low to show you guys how it's set up here. So interior lighting is set up with the red switch. 
This customer likes blue, so we gave them blue everything. So our blue backlit switches and our under deck LEDs are also blue backlit. We have our horn button as well, along with your standard bilge pump for the live well and navigation lights. You'll notice when we flick it on, anytime you have your navigation lights on in any position, either mooring and or traveling with your red and greens, that is always going to backlight your E-Drive tilt gauge. So what I'll do now, I'm actually gonna press this button and let our anchor down. So once it's there, this will actually be set in the down position. If you're still moving, there's a limit switch that actually lets out more rope. It'll slowly let out the rope because it's feeling the tension. When you're bringing it up, you return it to the neutral position right here, and then it will hold you solid wherever you drop your anchor. Now when we winch it up, that's in the up position there. And then this thing is uh, back to the neutral position and it won't go up or down automatically. Here's our head unit. Once again, we have a good interface on it. You can adjust everything on it, audio, go back. Click the source button here, that brings up AM, FM. You can scroll over to Bluetooth and you can connect to your phone. Exit there. And then you can set your uh, radio stations by holding down each button. It's a simple interface, it's good for all ages of users, that's why I really like it. We also have our depth finder installed. It's a Lorentz Hook 2. Yes, I wanna start simulator. So this one here is actually, it's in simulator mode and it's just gonna give us a, a general readout. I have an extra shear pin, extra negative shutoff, and our USB charge port here. It's also lit. And whenever you shut off your negative shut off on your helm, that kills that light as well for a longer storage life. We'll turn the E-Drive on. We have full battery life. I'll trim it up. Right now it was in the travel position. I'll lower the travel bar. Trim it down. And as it's trimming down, you'll notice our tilt gauge doing its job. So we're bottomed out, and we'll kick it in the forward position. You can go real slow with it. Or you can wind it right on up. I'll go back to the neutral position. Kill it. Oh, for our head unit here, if you want to kill this completely, hold down the center power button and then you're shut off. And then you can still work your speakers, your interior lighting, and under deck LED. We have them on three separate circuits, so that way if you don't want to have the speakers backlit and all you want to do is just the exterior LEDs around the boat, you can do that. Underneath here, I do want to touch on this again. Our Minn Kota Precision Charger, um, it's a 460 PC. It has temp sensors on each of the leads, so it charges each of the batteries variably um, to keep them all uh, in spec, and then also has an equalizer mode to uh, get the batteries cleaned, all the plates cleaned off, and make it at peak efficiency. I'm gonna hop off here real quick. I'll get a quick walk around on it. Very, very good looking boat. And this is what you should expect from First Auto Credit. We come to you with a good product and we back it up with good features. If you have any questions on these boats, 
don't hesitate to call me. You can call me on the main line. My name is Charles. You can call me at 573-204-7777. Uh, you can also email me, charles at firstautocredit.com. If you want to see more content, please like and subscribe to the page. We're going to put out more content. We're going to have a water video on this boat as well. I got customer permission to do so. So we are going to take advantage of that and bring you a nice video. Thank you guys again. I appreciate you guys watching. Have a great evening.